Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Star Flames and we're back with another banging video guys. Listen, Jason Lee, the host of Hollywood Unlocked, is letting us know some details. But first I have to say, it's really good to see Jason Lee in the place that he is as it relates to talking about Ye. Because for those who know, a few of my subscribers and myself, we were there, you know, on Jason's, Jason Lee's case last year, October, November, because the moment that Ye decided that he wasn't going to renew his contract with Jason Lee, you could tell that Jason Lee was not happy about it. Seems as though he was getting some of that good money, honey, and, you know, all the bad press, everything, you know, was basically jason lee's leading topic for hollywood unlock and we didn't like the manner in which he was going about it not only that he sat in an interview and he spoke something that was very private about it that we believe he should have kept to himself even if that was the case and he was like so when i commented on it he was like you know what it is it is what it is i said to mr jason lee it's not it what it is, because if you used to work for Ye and know that Ye has decided that at the end of the contract, you will not be renewing it for whatever reason, you need to keep it cute. Because if you display a behavior that seems as though you're bitter or angry at Ye, even the slightest, who is going to want to work with you in the future? Seems as though he took that into consideration. But what is interesting today is to see how Jason Lee is defending Lizzo against, you know, the dancers. Jason Lee saying that because they got fired, they're bitter. And I'm saying, I think you are so familiar with that feeling because when he decided that he wasn't going to renew the contract, you are bitter. You were bitter just the same. So... I like how everything is now coming 360 because I knew that at some point in time would have gotten to this point. Make no mistakes. We're all human beings. We're not perfect. And it's okay for us to have a change of heart and just give people, you know, the due justice that they deserve. Enough of Jason Lee. If that's not what we're really here to talk about. But I have to say, kudos, Jason Lee, to see you making that change, being more truthful, not that you were a liar before, but just not taking sides and being unapologetic in your truth. I like to see that side of you, right? So let's keep it cute and keep it moving. So page six is talking about their interview with Jason Lee. And what is interesting is that um, Jason Lee is saying that, you know, Ye and Bianca going barefoot to prove a point and to stage a PR stunt. You think the fact that people are talking about Kanye's feet shows just how much power he still has in the wake of cancel culture. You think it's a smart and strategic move. He's saying that he wouldn't be surprised if next time we saw shoes on his feet, it would be a project that, um, that he designed. Well, I think that's basically black and white at this point. No disrespect to Jason Lee because um, when he called things, since of lately, he has been very much in point, very professional about it, and also very accurate. So I don't agree with the word PR stunt, however, because the stunt is basically being tricky. You know, when you think about it not being... Uh, um, honest with your fan base and he has always been honest with his fan base when it comes to his products and maybe 90 or 95 we can give ye a solid 98 percent when it comes to his honesty or maybe a solid 95 right so i wouldn't say what he's doing is a pr stunt because we know that he was coming with shoe right and we can see that he has tweaked the Yeezy socks. I don't know if many of you were paying attention, guys. And I wanted to do a video about it, but for some reason, it slipped me. When he got to 
Tokyo, Japan, we could see that there was a change in the Yeezy shoe socks because when he got to Italy, I saw something different on his foot. And you could tell that what he's wearing, what he was wearing in um, Italy upon his arrival is an upgrade compared to what he was wearing in LA. Now, with him being barefoot, I genuinely believe he's doing that as a part of his healing. Because when I look at his, like, you know, Book of Eli, um, what what would you call it now? Um, is that persona that he has taken on, the Book of Eli. Everything he's doing now is symbolism. And he's going through a spiritual awakening because let me tell you something, you know, a spiritual awakening will have others believe that you're damn crazy and you're used and you're losing your mind, especially if during that moment of awakening, you're listening to yourself, you're listening to your higher self and you're following, you know, what you're vibrating to your frequency is telling you to do so what you is doing may seem like it's a pair stunt but it's not i honestly believe that he's on a spiritual journey i believe that um while he's on this spiritual journey as well i believe that there are different phases to it and at some point in time it may appear to people that his life has gone back to you know, a place, a place of calm and what it was before his cancellation. But the reality is his life will never go back to anything like it, what it was. It will always be better. Maybe not better in our eyes, but it's going to be better in his eyes. Ye was already somewhat um, minimalistic leading up to his cancellation. So at the point of his cancellation, his eyes were even more opened, right? And he told Candace Owens that he was one of the freest man's, man in America. So just imagine with him being able to detox, declutter, and then from the outside, look in and say, who needs that all that jewelry, all that clothing, all of that ish, right? So based on that, I can tell you that he is going to always have a good life. He will always have money. He's always going to be a billionaire. We're going to have media outlets who are going to try to spin and twist this thing, right? But it will always be of good wealth, good health. And he's going to always be on a path of discovery. Because the reality is, Ye is not a man of complacency. And this is why he takes so many risks. People have him as a as this huge um, spendthrift kind of individual. But if he wasn't a spendthrift, he, if he wasn't taking chances, he wouldn't be half the man that he's known to be today. His ways of taking chances financially, not that he doesn't spend a large sum of cash. Because honey baby, we saw that receipt for Balenciaga when he started dating Cheney, right? So it's not as though he's not going to always spend money and spend large sums of cash. But the risk that he takes is what sets him apart. And he takes more risk than many people. So because he takes more risk than the average citizen, he has opened a door of, he, he has opened doors of unknown opportunities for himself. And people normally tend to just look at the bad and say, oh my God, he's making bad choices again. But they never look at how oftentimes those gambles do pay off. And the, the few good ones that are there, even though few, they far way out the bad choices. So what I'm saying is that I understand what Jason Lee is saying and I do respect what Jason Lee is saying. But I cannot call this a PR stunt. I see a PR move in it as well. I believe that he's making people realize that I had billions of dollars. Today, I don't even care about shoe or what garments I wear. Be comfortable. Be happy in your life. And do not be misguided by Hollywood and their fake lifestyle. 
So when he comes back with his clothing, he's going to take us into another era with his, clothes, with his clothing. And when he takes us into that era with his clothing that he's about to come back with and footwear, it's not going to be such a shock effect we're going to realize what he was working on all this time. It's going to be a, a surprise to many. We're going to be excited, but many of us are going to understand the concept of his line based on what he and his wife has been doing for the past few months. It's not a pure stunt. It's a move. It's going to include transparency, honesty, and he's giving it to us all right now. But if you're not paying attention, when he releases that clothing line, we are not gonna be ready. And don't think that there will not be footwear. There are gonna be footwear. Remember, we're talking about Yeezy. And have you guys seen the new Yeezys? Listen, they are fire. Now I understand why Adidas did not wanna let this man. When I tell you the new Yeezys are fire, they are fire fire and when you hear that coming from my mouth you know they're fire but we're gonna talk about it in a next video guys things are good things are not you know always gonna be perfect yay will always disappoint us like our kids do disappoint us but at the end of the day we will always love and support him just as though we love and support our kids, our brothers and sisters who occasionally disappoints us in our personal life. And that's all I have to say about that in this video. Let me know what are your thoughts. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all later. Bye, guys.